Well, this is the end of uh, day three for me. Uh, I've just showered and I just finished my tuition class. So I think I deserve a beer. But uh, the bars are still not open. Um, oh my god, this is a huge head here. Oh, what the hell? Beer is still beer. But last night was quite interesting. Last night I met. Uh, the bars are not open, so last night what what happened was uh, the one of the girls who work in uh, this bar came back and we had a drink uh, in the bar together with the lady who <laughs> cleans the, the the place. So three of us uh, were having a drink, and the girl, the the, the bar girl, told told me a uh, quite a sad story, a, a heartbreaking story. She to escape poverty and to help a family. She actually went to Malaysia when she was 15 and uh, she falsified her passport saying that she was 20 so that she could get a passport to travel. And she, is, uh, she said that she worked for this rich family and the house was near where all the embassies were, in, uh, all the embassies are. So I think it's probably in Ampang somewhere and she was saying that they have five cars in this house and yet um, the... the, the she, she said the sir was a, a terrible guy he would just you know um, make her work you know um, he would he would um, um, uh, run his finger on, on, on the table and then tell her clean it and she would and then he would run his finger on the, on, the, on, the, on the table again and tell her clean it again and she would and he would just keep doing that I don't know, it's, it's something wrong with the guy or for fun. And then uh, he, he tried to rape her as well. This 15-year-old girl, this guy, tried to rape this 15-year-old girl. He, is, uh, he would come into the, the room and ask for sex. And the girl, the, the way, the, the, way the, 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 the bar girl explained to me was, um, uh, I'm original, she said, I'm original. And I, I didn't couldn't quite understand that until later on in the story I realised that when she said that she was original, she meant that she was, she was a virgin at that time. Um, it didn't, didn't. But what I, what, I, what I don't understand is why would the guy, this rich guy, want to have sex with this 15-year-old Cambodian girl instead of just going out and paying for it? I mean, like, you have five cars in the house, you should be able to afford these kinds of things, right? So I I, 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 I I don't know. Anyway, she said that she worked for that family <coughs> for three and uh, three years. Yeah. Can you guess how much she got paid in total in that three years? Go ahead. You 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 try and guess. I'll I'll I'll, I'll wait for you. See, she, she said that she took home three and a half thousand US dollars after three years of working. That's like a thousand US dollars a year, a thousand one hundred US dollars a year. That's four thousand four hundred ringgit, four thousand five hundred ringgit for the entire year of working. That's crazy. And yet this rich family paid her just that. I, I, I don't, I, I, I actually offered to throw eggs at this guy's house. I said, if you, if you give me the address, I'll go over to his house and throw eggs at his house. But she said that she had forgotten uh, the address. But she said that if, I, if she was in KL, she would be able to make her way back to the house. Uh, you know, I, I, was, I was just thinking to myself that that family was really lucky that she didn't try and poison them for, for all, all that, the way that she was treated. It was... Um, it was really terrible. I, I think I think that that was that was really terrible. I'm I'm glad that our laws are much better now. It's it's much tighter. It's it's, uh, it's not perfect, but still, you know this 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 girl is is like a a, a nice girl. It, it, she works in a bar now, but you know but, but that's uh, it shouldn't be any 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 you know it shouldn't reflect badly on her character. I mean people work for money, so and, but when she told me the the, the story her story about what, she, what had happened to her in Malaysia. And here I am, a Malaysian, listening to this story. I just, I just, 
I, I just apologize on 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 all on behalf of all Malaysians. I said you know not all Malaysians are like that, but you know we apologize because the system at that time was just set up that way that people like you could be exploited. You know, well yeah, it's quite bad. So that was that was last night, and um, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys are still having fun. Um, curfew ends next week. <laughs>